Washington, Democrats said on Wednesday, December 13, their U.S. Senate victory in Alabama could lead to a sweeping comeback for the party in 2018 elections while Republicans sought to assess blame for a defeat in one of the nation's most conservative states. Doug Jones, a Democrat and former federal prosecutor, won the special election on Tuesday night after a bitter campaign that drew national attention amid sexual misconduct accusations against conservative Republican candidate Roy Moore. President Donald Trump had endorsed Moore and the loss was a stunning upset for him and fellow Republicans, narrowing their majority in the Senate to 51 to 49. It also boosted Democrats who hope to retake control of Congress at elections for Congress and next November. Jones was the first Democrat elected to the Senate from Alabama in a quarter century, and the party sees potential nationwide. Democrats can win everywhere and now we are seeing that, Democratic National Committee Chairman Tom Perez told reporters, citing recent wins in governor's races in Virginia and New Jersey, as well as various local races around the country. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer said the defeat of Moore reflected a distaste among voters for Trump's policies, which he said helped the wealthy and powerful to the detriment of the middle class. Things are looking good for us, Schumer told reporters. If they, Republicans, continue to run the government for the benefit of the few special powerful wealthy interests, there will be many more Alabamas in 2018. The Alabama campaign split the Republican Party with Steve Bannon, Trump's former chief White House strategist, working hard for more as part of his broader campaign against more centrist Republican leaders. Bannon must go Republican rivals of Bannon, who has returned to his executive position at the right-wing Breitbart news site, were quick to blame him for the defeat. After Alabama disaster GOP must do right thing and dump Steve Bannon, Republican U.S. Representative Peter King said in a post on Twitter on Wednesday. His act is tired, inane, and morally vacuous. If we are to make America great again for all Americans, Bannon must go. And go now. Fellow Republican U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley said it would be virtually impossible to stop Bannon from supporting candidates to run against Republican incumbents in primary races over the next few months. Steve Bannon is a private citizen and how are you going to ban a private citizen from whatever he wants to do? Grassley said on the Fox Business Network. Moore, a hardline conservative who was twice removed from his seat on the Alabama Supreme Court for refusing to abide by federal law, became the Republican candidate by beating incumbent Senator Luther Strange in a primary race earlier this year. Republican leaders in Congress backed Strange in that race and then pressured Moore to withdraw his candidacy after he faced allegations from several women that he sexually assaulted or pursued them when they were teenagers and he was in his 30s. Moore, 70, denied the allegations.